I think this is going to be good. I think... Whoa! I think that, uh, this is going to be fun race. What's up guys, Hobbo88 here and welcome back to R Factor. And today we're going to have another mess around in late models on one of my all time favorite sims. I love R Factor and I haven't been on here much lately. So I uh, decided to jump back in and have another go at late models. There's a particular combination actually that I've been wanting to do. It's one of the first combinations I ever did actually back in the day and uh, I've wanted to come back and do it again. So we're going to run in the late models. You can see here we've got the uh, 20, what? What is it? 2015 late model pack. Um, just going to run in the Jimmy John's car here, number 12. And the track that we want to race at is Bedford Speedway. Um, it's a track that I've probably got videos on on the channel here from the past, but it's just one of my favorites that I remember running on when I first started R Factor many years ago. It was one of the first tracks I ever raced at in the late models and just wanted to go back here and do this almost as a bit of a nostalgic uh, sort of a video, I guess, for my own sake. So. We're going to go ahead and run this track. Um, we'll do the super late models. Let me just make sure I have got a super late. Yep, super late selected. Um, as far as car upgrades go, I'll put the 12 inch spoiler on it, run the missile um, suspension package, and that's it. Everything else is just default. Um, for the track itself, um, might run the AI strength down a little lower. I think 80% is about where I'll end up going to need to have this at. Uh, we'll do a 30 lapper, it's a pretty long race around this track, it's a longer track, a half mile track, and um, 24 AI cars, we'll start at the back like we always do. But um, that's all the settings I've got here, so let's go ahead and load up the track. Alright, so here we go. Um, we'll quickly go in, as we always do, and check out some of the settings and things like that. So everything's turned off in the difficulty, with the exception of invulnerability, so we don't get nerfed by an AI car in the middle of the race. Um, the rates, this is my settings for my Fanatec CS 2.5 wheelbase, which I've got set to 460 degrees of rotation as always, and my pedal settings and things like that. Um, this is all my settings, so you guys can go ahead and duplicate those if you wish. In the garage, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the dodgy drag up the gearing. We'll make the gearing a bit longer. It's got long straights, so we'll do that. Everything else I'll leave the same. Always make sure that the steering lock is cranked up. But other than that, that's it. So let's go out and hit the track. There's just something really cool about this track. I've always enjoyed this track. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, watch out. <laughs> There's something I... Uh, I like about this place. I don't know what it is. Let's see if it's still as good as it used to be. The good news is we're coming straight out of the pits with a car in front of us, so we'll have a gauge for lap speed. What did we set it to? About 80%, I think it was, wasn't it? The AI. If anything, they might be still a little too fast. Oh no, we're we're hanging on. It's one thing about R Factor is that the AI strength thing, like normally any other sim or game or anything like that, I just set it to maximum, you know, like 100, 105 percent. R Factor's a bit different, you end up just having to even the same cars, like this mod on different tracks by the same people, like all the Dirtworks design stuff, you might have a different AI strength for every track to be the perfect number. Oh, that's contact. Big hit. Oh. We've shunted him. He's going into the into the lane. I think this is going to be good. I think whoa. I think that, uh, this is going to be fun race.
Got a car on my tail, I can hear it. The only thing I'm a bit nervous about is trying to figure out how to get my way forwards from the back. It's not really a wide track. Like, it is a fairly wide surface, but I don't know that there'll be a high line around here. Although I'm sure that I'll probably look into that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we can work around there and pass people up the top. We'll see. Spinning out. All right, well, we'll duck in behind the wall here and uh, we'll head back out in the race. Let's do it. All right, well, here we go. We've got 30 laps. It's gonna be a pretty long race. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty long race around here, really, 30 laps. It's a slow pace lap. Starting to build up speed. Here we go. Coming to the green. And we're off. Try and make hay while the sun shines, so to speak. While they're all banked up and close together, you want to try and make moves. I'm going to tippy toe around the bottom at the minute. It's working, it's working okay. We're going forwards, just slowly. Bit of contact there. gaggle of them up here. The leader's way up in the front though, they're starting to check out. Oh, 
we opened up the bottom. Might have been a mistake. Can we go around the top? Doesn't look that good, does it? Oh, oh, oh. A half spin. Contact. Good old R Factor Dirt Physics once the car starts to spin, there's no stopping it. Yeah, definitely the bottom looks like the way to go. We're going to be a bottom feeder. I think in this one. big bumps in this track and you can really feel them. It's a big one coming off turn four. There's a big one here on the entry to three. There's the one on the exit of four. Got the bottom hooked up though, it is pretty good around here. Ooh, wheel spin in the middle of the back straight. Slide job. Into the wall there on the exit of four. I'm trying to see if I can get that higher line to work, but looks like the low line is going to be our jam. All these guys are going side by side, it's a bit hard to go anywhere, but there's a bit of room down here on the bottom. Let's see if we can sneak it down here. Oh, they're still racing each other hard on the outside. Trying to get good drive off the turn. Oh, a bit of a shot in the back. But we're going to be clear now, all four. The diamonding sort of approach seems to work well. You're driving hard on the bottom. Let it drift up a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't spin out, though. Oh, no. If you can straighten that corner exit off, you get good drive down the straight. Just drove in a little hard, though, on the corner entry into three. There's a big bump on the inside of three. It's sort of like a raise, like a, a mound almost. Not like a bump, but like a rise. You can see it, you sort of come up over it there. And if you come across that too aggressive, the car just spins out. It's twice it's caught us out there. We've got some ground to make up though here.
a slightly lower line feels much better than trying to carry momentum around the top. It's such a flat track. The banking doesn't really do anything to help you up here. Although that felt pretty good in one and two. We're gaining on them. I'd love to get a current uh, like livery pack for these cars. That would be awesome. A 2021 Outlaws pack or something, that'd be sick. All right, now we've got to figure out how we're going to get past these guys. Big hole there on the high side in turn two as well. No idea how many laps we've got to go. I've got no idea what position we're in. This is not the leader up here in front of us, I don't think. Just cannot get the run on the inside here. Run a little higher on entry, lower on exit. No, that didn't work. Oh, that's going to be a spin. We're gone. I knew it the second I went to the corner. Oh my god, we've got no drive down here either. We lose a heap of spots. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness, how many pa how many cars went past us? The second I went to turn into the corner down there, I knew that was going to happen. It just rotated. Oh, we've got to get these guys back at least. Although I'm going backwards, not forwards. Come on now. AI is getting faster, I think. As they single file out a bit. Got one of them back. Oh, oh! That was a bit of a freeze there. And then we got a guy on our inside just pushing me. Oh! I just got pushed way out of the way. I'm sorry, sir, but that wasn't very nice. Have a little bit of a fender. Give him the old slider. <laughs> Suck an egg. All right, here we go. We may have created a rivalry with the yellow car. Our pace sucks though all of a sudden. I feel like I'm going quicker than I was earlier, but we're relative to the field, going slower. Good drive there off a of turn four. Oh, and that's a checkered flag. It's over already? Oh, man, that was just starting to get good. We should have done a 60 lapper, not 30, or whatever we did. Well, it's a shame that we suck so bad. Oh, he's not happy with me, the yellow car. Look at that. Was that him? It may not have been, I don't know. <laughs> that was good fun. It was just starting to get juicy as well. But anyway, R factor. It never fails to dis like, it never fails to impress. I think that's the way I want it to say. It's never disappointing. That might be a better way to say it. So much fun every single time. The late models here, Bedford, always good fun. And this is a nostalgic video for me because this is one of the first combinations I ever did on a simulator. 
But uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Hobo88. Twitch.tv forward slash Hobo88. Check out the live streams. And don't forget the Discord channel. We've got an awesome community over there. Link is in the description below. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.